Yo, so I just finished practice and I talked to my coach and I. Ooh, ooh, show it off, show it off. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> Yo, 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 it's Steve Brisbane coming at you through the microphone. You already know what it is. It's day 60. So today we have practice and it's a beautiful day today. It's about 20 degrees. I think that's like probably 70 degrees in Fahrenheit. I don't know. I don't know why the U.S. decides to be special when it comes to measurements and degrees and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, today's a very, very simple day. We're just going to have a simple training practice, probably about tactics, something slow movement, doing free kicks, doing penalty kicks. I'm just going to be asking my coach today about my role on the team for tomorrow since I'll be playing that center defensive mid, center back role. I talked it out with Steve, the goalkeeper, and he helped me out in terms of like what he saw uh, needs to be improved in that center defensive mid role, especially about the center defensive mid sometimes gets caught up too high and then there's a pocket of space uh, in between the midfielders and the defenders so I need to plug up that gap and make sure that we stay compact and stay together. Steven's at the chiropractor right now. He picked up a slight like neck strain yesterday in practice where he kind of got stuck in his like back somersault position. Our game is at 3 p.m. tomorrow and it's going to be at Central Valen which is our home field when our grass field right over here when our grass field is not 100% uh, and ready but as you can see right here our grass field is turning greener every single day so give it about two weeks or so uh, when we have our next home game and we'll probably be playing on this pitch update about my knee my knees feeling good I still feel like I'm at 95% if there were no injuries at all on our team and John was able to play, I would be sitting out this game. There is a lot of pressure for us to perform this game. Um, in Daniel's press release, he had said that by the end of the first half of the season, he will have 20 goals. And by the end of the season, he will have 40 goals. He didn't say that I want to have 20 goals. He says I will have 20 goals. For, so for him, he put the pressure on himself to perform and get the goals that's needed for this team to win the league and gain promotion. In terms for me, I said that I wanted to gain promotion, win the championship for this league, but I also wanted to score five goals off of corners. I think as a center back, it's important for you to play well defensively, be in good positioning, and have your tactical mindset good. But at the same time, if you want to be a dangerous center back, a center back that gets noticed and can get scouted to other teams, having offensive production, scoring off corners, being a good aerial threat is also a key factor. So for me, I said that I want to help the team and I want to get five goals this season, specifically off of corners because I want to get into the box, I want to jump over players, and I want to just slam in some goals and get some extra offensive production. Other than that, right now, I'm just going to be chilling with Diego and Daniel. We're going to be playing some FIFA because that's what we do. Yo, so I just finished practice and I talked to my coach and I let him know that I can't play tomorrow's game. Um, I'm as disappointed as you guys. I really do want to play the game, but just I just don't feel 100%. Physically, I'm about 5 to 10% off. Mentally, I'm about 50% off and my body and my mind just aren't connecting together and the way I want to move, the way I want to play just is not happening right now. I'm gonna go into this next week of practice, I'm gonna work hard, do my rehab, and just get focused and get refined so that I can go and play the second game. Um, I'm disappointed that I can't play the home opener, especially in front of a home crowd, especially right after a press release of all things, but at the end of the day, I have to think about my career, I have to think about the longevity of the season, and it's not worth risking uh, aggravating my injury or you know getting injured more so I decided to take myself out of tomorrow's game and yeah I just wanted to let you guys know I will insert a link in the description about if you want to watch the game there is a paywall that means you have to pay to watch the game the reason being is this is actually being aired through the television network and not through our own live streaming. All of our games after that will be through our own live streaming and that will be free, but tomorrow's game 
is going to be through a TV network. So I'll insert the link into the description. I think it's like $5 if you guys want to go and watch that game. I won't be playing. So if you guys are still interested in watching it, I'll try and see if I can get the footage, maybe show the goals or do a little match analysis. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that I won't be playing today. I'm devastated. When it comes to your playing career, you gotta be smart, you gotta throw your pride away, and you gotta do what's best for you, do what's best for your body, and just do what's best for your career in the long run. So, that being said, smash the like button. Like, comment, subscribe, you know what it is. Steve Brisson signing out. Remember him or something.